turn our attention to the Supreme Court as in a few hours justices are set to hear the first arguments for a case that could determine the future of affirmative action, specifically as it affects college admissions. So Cleo Green is here with us right now to break down what you need to know. So let's talk about it. Honestly, plain and simple, it really all comes down to a question that's been debated for decades. Colleges and universities using race as a factor in admissions under the banner of affirmative action. Now, some say if that factor is removed, it will be more of an even playing field. Check this out here. ABC News, they just asked a group of students from public and private universities for their views before the Supreme Court court begins hearing arguments today for and against affirmative action. Now that poll shows more than six out of 10 Americans oppose using race or ethnicity in college admissions with African Americans notably almost evenly split here. Take a listen to conflicting thoughts here by Edward Bloom, who's the founder of Students for Fair Admissions. He's the man behind this latest challenge. And then David Lewis, a Harvard University junior. Affirmative action isn't like reducing a consideration of merit or hard work or anything is actually amplifying it and looking at um, the merit of overcoming adversity as well. A student's race or ethnicity should not be used to help him or harm him in his chances of gaining admission to a competitive college. Listen, as it stands, roughly 20% of four-year public universities consider race during the admissions process. The Supreme Court could roll back existing rules or possibly overturn affirmative action policies entirely. So as colleges and universities are watching this mm -hmm. case with a lot of interest, yes. when might they expect to find out, hey, what's the policy going to be and how does that affect us? If we could see a decision come next spring, mm -hmm. and ultimately this would mean fewer minorities on some of the nation's most selective colleges and universities, and they're already slim as it is. All right, thank you, mm -hmm. Cleo.